In your early... In I can your hear er the cameraman breathing. <laughs> In your early days on stage, did you ever have audiences oh, this, this late? Oh, my Lord, I did an off-Broadway play where, you, yeah, there were more people on stage than in the audience. Yeah. And I remember the director said to us at one point, you know what I think the problem is? Uh, I think the lights are too bright. <laughs> and I said, yes, that's the problem. <laughs> they can see the play. <laughs> Well, Seth, you're the only one I'd get out of my sweat pads for, and I mean that in the nicest way. I really appreciate it. Not to mention the nominal appearance fee. Right. That's so, not nothing no. in this day and age. Uh, I'll tell you. There was a real dark spot there for Broadway, and then last night, a, a lot of openings. I know. Were uh, you out and about? Did you go see anything? Did you talk to friends who were on stage? <laughs> <laughs> who are you talking to, Kristen Chenoweth? <laughs> no, I wasn't out and about. <laughs> no, I don't... No, I'm, I'm not going into a theater with 1,200 people. <laughs> Are you nuts? <laughs> Who knows where they've been? I wish you all a lot of luck with that Broadway thing. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I, I heard, uh, yes, a lot of shows have, are opening, and uh, I hear they're, some of them, they're selling very well. And, Good. And look, everyone should be cautiously optimistic. It would be nice if, I think those are uh, the, the perfect combination of words for how we should be moving well, forward. Well, you know, because, you know, we, we, ha we have to be aware that there's the Delta variant, now the Mu, yeah. the Mu, which is not only respiratory, but, you know, there's lactating involved. <laughs> Thanks. Can you run around the room and make it sound like a group? Um, <laughs> this is, by the way, as hot as it's been. I just know. <laughs> We'll send you tapes of some other guests. You'll be like, oh, I murdered. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, you did. And you uh, started Wally's uh, comedy career. Yeah, and now Wally complains when he's not in the show for a week. Uh, I know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's gone to his head. Yeah. Well, you know, you've worked with Divas. Uh, I, I sure have. <laughs> well, you were between a couple, Marty and Steve in the clip. Oh, those two. Right. Those two and their shenanigans. <laughs> you know, uh, Someone was asking me, I was saying, they said, what was the energy like? And I said, that, well, you know, they're like two 20-year-olds. You know, um, okay, maybe 30. 30-year-olds. 30 <laughs> two tired 30-year-olds. <laughs> All right. Two 40-year-olds on vacation. Let's put it that way. No, they are, you know, I've known them both a, a long time, and... Uh, you know, they're at that point in their lives where, um, you know, they're bona fide geniuses. They have yeah. nothing to prove. They just want to show up together and have fun and do good work and make millions <laughs> of dollars. That's always been a really important uh, thing for And them. it seems to be working. <laughs> no, they're, no, they're, they were, it's, it's, they set the tone for the whole set. And, the, you know, they're so gracious and kind and, and, and appreciative of all the, the guest stars. Yeah, it's a really nice thing about them. And they... They do, I've always said about them, they put so much work into it uh, to make it look effortless. Yes. And, oh, totally. Yeah, no, they both, I mean, especially when they do, <laughs> they do talk shows, it's like they're going to host the Oscars. They're, they prepare. <laughs> I myself usually prepare a lot. You know, this was a last-minute booking. It is. Yeah, you I mean... bailed us out. Who fell out? Lizzo? <laughs> yeah. Lizzo fell out, and you thought... She, Lizzo fell out, and she suggested you. <laughs> 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 Who's like Lizzo? Call Nathan Lane. <laughs> we know he's definitely available. Does, does he know the words to Truth Hurts? <laughs> for the kids. I do one for you, one for the kids. I have a... I want to pitch you a Broadway musical that I'm working on, and I think there's a really good uh, part for you. Cicada Cicada. Cicada Cicada. Well, so... it's... it's all of... the whole town is a buzz. <laughs> okay, so... Literally, I do th with Cicada Cicada... <laughs> um, you, know, you just made the poster. Cicada Scott of the whole town is a buzz. <laughs> it, look, if you don't get the part, and I think you're going to get it. If? I'm just saying, I think, I... I think you're going to get it. Well, <laughs> but at the very least, you do have I, the I don't have to audition, do I? No, I don't think you do. Because I can't, I no. can't audition it. This any. is, I, we did here was offer only. Yeah. And as soon as Lizzo said no, we were like, you know, <laughs> we're going to get Lizzo. <laughs> So, uh, do you, do you, can I just talk through the plot real quick? And you tell me, as someone who's a sort of Broadway well, pro... Well, from what I hear with the plot, it has to be quick. <laughs> Great. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so a cicada is, uh, you know, hatched. Uh, yes. Played by cicada, uh, uh, Christine Baranski, who is a very soft yes. 
So, she, uh, she's an old friend of mine. She will definitely do it. We're, okay, great. We're into working together on the, the Gilded Age for HBO. Oh, so, fantastic. I'm very so excited about that. She'll definitely do it. Okay, so we got uh, Baranski is yeah. a, a cicada. A cicada. Uh, who uh, loves Broadway, uh, born somewhere in, in Georgia or South Carolina, wherever cicadas so, are. A, a gay cicada. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's a very gay uh, cicada. Comes to New York City, so excited, uh, but is unaware about their very short lifespan. This is the tragedy oh. <laughs> inherent in the play. And uh, and I'm, when, it, it all takes place during the pandemic and uh, so I, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not Bill Nye, the science guy. Did, uh, how, what is their life? 17 days. 17 days? I've also done very little research. Oh, wow. <laughs> but their in the play is 17 days. In the play, it's definitely 17 days. Wow. Uh, there's a cockroach oh, in the play. Always. Um, that sounds, cockroach is a Mets like a good fan. part for me. It's a Harvey uh, Harvey Firestein's gonna Oh Jesus! Him. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so uh, there's the cockroach, and the, uh, the cockroach befriends the cicada. And the what's cicada his lifespan? <laughs> <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> well, no. So that's the that's the the, the, the cockroach. The part, he could live, live forever. forever right. Sure. Yeah. All right. Anyway. So the cockroach realizes his friend the cicada is going to pass away before Broadway reopens because it takes place during the pandemic yeah. and uh, Broadway's closed. The cockroach happens to live in a very famous Broadway is the, star. Is the cockroach an old friend of the cicadas? No, well, they, they meet. They meet in New York. She's like she's new only, off the bus. Only right. 17 days. Yeah, so Do they uh, meet. Yeah, they're that kind of that they like cricket it. in Times Square type meeting. Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. So um, anyway, <laughs> the cockroach happens to live in the apartment of a very famous Broadway star. Yeah. Nathan Lane. The cockroach in, in my apartment? Yes. Well, what, is, what does that say about me personally? Well, he, that I, I, I don't keep a clean house? That you're sounded, putting, you're that, spinning too much. It's not. The cockroach makes that a sounded deal. right out of the shtetl. <laughs> you, you think I don't keep a clean house? Um, so, uh, well, so there's, a, the, the, I, I have a cockroach. You have a cockroach, and the Ooh. cockroach makes a deal with you. Yeah. I will move out of your home. Right. I'd like to make a deal with you. <laughs> See, very good. You can be the understudy. On the nights where Harvey's Thanks. sick, you can do both Thanks parts. Thanks a lot. He'd love that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, he convinces you yeah. to do a one-man show for his friend the cicada before she dies. Called Cicada Scotta? No, that play's called Cicada Scotta. And we can call it whatever we want in the body oh. of the show. But that's how... That would be that you then are the one Broadway show. Oh, that, that, 17 days. 17 days, yeah. yeah. And I think it'll be really good. And that, But that's it? There's just three people in this musical? Well, there's other characters. Like, a lot of the Mets are going to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because what but else are they doing? But there's, well, here's yeah. the thing. The Mets are really bad when, yeah. this, when the play starts. Well, that but then comes, no with surprise. each of the 17 days, yeah. the Mets keep winning. Oh, oh, and the oh. cockroach at the end has to decide. Is if this he's set gonna... in the '69 or whatever? No, it's when... in modern times. Oh, so oh. it's uh, which is why um, it's well, it's kind of a fictional world because the Mets do well. Um, and then, <laughs> well, they won that one. Wasn't it '69? '60, '86. Uh, they won again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we were a couple. We we're a couple sports guys. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right. the 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 the. The I think, cockroach. I think I hurt myself. <laughs> the cockroach has to make a choice. Do I yeah. do I go to this Mets game, right? Or do I go to this one man the the chance to see my friend uh, the cicada see uh, see Broadway on her? And and at the end of your show, the cockroach gives a standing ovation, but the cicada doesn't. You know why? Why? <laughs> but <laughs> died. Because wow, so yeah. this has a tragic ending. It's really tragic. <laughs> This is... I think everybody thinks it's going to be a comedy, and that's I, where we get them at the end. You know, uh, like, you know, when it, when you take improv classes, you know, yes and. Yeah. I think this is a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I just need to speak to a, a few people about it. I, you but, know, I, Sondheim. Well, we'd love to get Sondheim. Would you like to get Sondheim? Yeah. Well, I, this, better, this is going to be the Stephen, not Gary, right? I've been stuck <laughs> with Gary. If oh, I get Gary. stuck with Gary Sondheim Gary, one more time. Gary stinks. But Steve... <laughs> It's really, really good. I, I would, I would, uh, I certainly would sign on if you'll have me. <laughs> yes, great. All right, so I got you, Soft Yes and Bariansky. You work on her, and then and, uh, and Firestein, and then Harvey uh, Firestein. Yeah, and then have you talked to him? I haven't talked to him yet. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the Mets, and we're good. Uh, only Murders in the Building wow. is streaming now on Hulu. We'll be this right is back. 
the most you've I've ever seen you talk. Well, thanks. On this show. I'm so, I'm overwhelmed. Wow, I'm gonna very be, we're exciting. We're gonna win a Tony. Oh yeah, we'll be right back with that, DJ It's Nova. not as exciting as you think. <laughs>